Okay, uh, he's approved a fence, a shed, a driveway, a carport, a pool. Oh, I'm sorry, here. Two, I'm sorry, two sheds. Uh, and he's met for another approval for a garage. He just hasn't approved it yet. They just wanted, it's it's people that are looking to buy a, some property. And um, Matt looked at what they were doing and um, he did a verbal approval, but they uh, need to put, turn in their application with the survey. They had it, they didn't have a Okay, can I get a motion to approve the ACC report? I will. Can I get a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, uh, deed restriction committee. Well, I'll pass it to North since she sends out the letter. I'm just <laughs> paying the push. Okay, there's been 13 letters mailed out. Okie dokie. Yeah, and our list is really getting smaller. You know, for a while it was really big, now it's really short. And I think we eliminated some of she them. You can tell so. that some people have gotten the letter. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a good job. We're proud of you. Yes. Y'all so get them four grown up lots in section five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah those are on there. Yeah. Two of them got, long, got mowed in the last week. Yeah, yeah. Other Somebody two are still mowed on the list. Them. Right. We have one. So, for those of you that do, me and Ed just drive around. Yes. Oh, okay. The deed description you guys are talking about overgrown lots and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I, that's why I think all three of us are here. Is yes. The house across the street from us and next to hers. Their backyard is atrocious. There's Wait, weeds where are 20 feet tall. Section one. Yeah, yeah. They have been on, oh yeah, right over here. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've been writing them up. We can't, okay. we can't talk too much about <laughs> that at an open meeting. Okay. But believe me, we are. It, can is we, this a tech? Yeah, can we on. ask what can we have contacted Harris County? The commissioner, the environmental department, you have, it's embarrassing to let people come to your house, not only a safety hazard. Yeah. What can else be There's done? Nothing. There's not much that can be done. Um, we're in the process of, of the steps that we can take, and we're going to have to soon take another step that isn't usually taken in HOAs. Um, the main thing is the safety. Um, how bad it's overgrown and the fact that there is a pool back there that is not fenced in and that is black. Um, so, is that the, yeah, I can't remember, no, no, run over here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, on the canal. Yeah. 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 So, so we're, we, we've, we've talked to a couple of people. Um, the health department is one of them that I've contacted. Um, but it's trying to. If y'all contact them. Oh, we yeah. have yeah. I know numerous. I mean, uh, yeah. Letitia Flores. Uh, yeah. So, if, if if it's appropriate, I can give you her contact, and maybe the contact you already have for uh, the okay. environmental and health department. That okay. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll take okay. it, and I'll give them a call. Okay. Um, but we are working on it. I okay. promise. I, that's the thing. The, is, and it's not just the deep. It's. They're, they can they're cure working it on it and the, the entire board yeah. is working on it. We got too much red tape that the state demands that we go through. Yeah, because yeah. actually, the, through the process, you have to give them so many days. Then you have to send them a certified letter. So when you're talking about to start to maybe take a major action, you're talking about six months. Because you have to also say, we're volunteers. Even though we try every week, I was out of town for two weeks. So instead of us driving the neighborhood every week, and we have to go by there and document before we can follow the steps that the state says you have to follow. Now, I know Harris County is a lot more lenient. Yeah. But I know the bulkheads all go through Houston. That's mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, if the yard's that way, I can only imagine what the bulkheads the state look like. Bulkhead. So, we, won't Houston come in and move a lot faster on something like that? Because, I mean, that hillside we goes can, away, that on the piers, piers, well, there's no metal container is going to roll right down. Yeah. And block the thing, there, the no thing about the bulkheads is the bulkheads don't have to be permanent. Oh, well, and you well don't I thought have they had to be inspected. No, sir. Oh, really? You are not required on Lake Houston to have a bulkhead. Yeah. You've got to have, if you have a pier, you've got to have a 
Uh, you have uh, you Houston tag yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, there's no permit or anything to buy. They, they don't inspect them every year? No, no. no not at all. Wow. They just they don't use some rare the road houses or the yeah. piers. You just I have to know if any of you are aware there's a railroad car and the, the hillside looks like at any time it could come down, not to mention all the bugs, snakes, yeah. and the pool is green with he looked a lawnmower in it. We have little we have little kids that live on our street. Yeah. Not to mention people with health issues and you worry what could happen. Not to mention property value. Like yeah. can we I live on the other side of it, I have to look at it every day. Oh. So, <laughs> I can tell you we don't like it. We're, we're, we're preaching to the choir. Yeah. And yeah. like yeah, and then the, uh, the so property has been that way. Before he moved out, he's now he moved yeah, to another house. Yeah, it's right to speak on the street. Not encouraging. And, that, <laughs> and, and like I said, uh, we've, we've done a lot of research in regards to getting yeah. the with property owners. Um, the way that the neighbor, any, any HOA works, when if you move into an HOA neighborhood, if you move out and you still own property, it is up to the property owner to make sure that the HOA has a boarding place. We've yeah. had to research to get we all have no, uh, a yeah, new address. It's, it's, so it's an age cap. Yeah. So we we okay. but the on the our end though we really have to look legally because we can't just start sending letters to anybody with that last name because then we can, so we have to be careful whenever we start sending letters. And that also comes back to sending personal information out that kind of stuff. But, but we are I promise you we're, we're trying very hard to get that. And the next step is to see what we can do legally to get property. Yeah, because I think. I will be happy to pass on the contract that I've been talking to. They are having the front mode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because he was texting and I, I have been sick with cancer and so my family comes to visit. And my aunt. My up, uh, my dad, my cousin. Every, do you know what that looks like? I can't believe you're taking this. And I was like, Yeah, I know. And he would text them because we get embarrassed any holiday that we have. Please mow the lawn. Please have someone mow the lawn. You have to mow the lawn. And I was like, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. And like I said, we we have tried. We've been trying, and we're going to continue to try. Um, but we're just we're gonna at this point we have to take extra steps. Um, yeah, I don't even want to help the department real hard. And that's that was the first step. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm dealing with that. But any contact that you have, that one, that will definitely help. Now, now I was talking to him. Supposedly in January they had a hearing, and he didn't show up, so they filed a warrant for him. Okay. And, and that's what the Harris County Environmental Code. Yeah. So it sounds like y'all know where they live and their phone numbers? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, they live right on Dumb Gully. Um, hold on a second. Oh, uh, hold on. Wait. I know, yeah. <laughs> these, these, these meetings are recorded. Yeah. So we, the board is legally, we cannot release a lot of information. So I would just suggest after not the after the meeting. If y'all want to talk about it a little bit more, we'd be more happy to go into an executive session. But yeah, and other I don't than that, need to know where they live. I'm yeah. just saying, you can, if y'all know exactly, we we, you we have all the information. We need yeah. to know yeah. where yeah. they live. You're not going to know because that's not there. Yeah, but give it to them and tell yeah. them what you know. But we, we can we can talk about this okay. after yeah. the meeting. Okay, Sarah. One last thing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the, 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 and I want to say her name. She she did ask if you know the homeowners association had been in contact. So I'd be happy for the two of you all, to, you know, so she could know what you're all doing. Oh yeah. I don't know if we work in concert or not. I don't know the rules, but I yeah. think she'll be happy to have some contact. Oh yeah, that that yeah, that's that is not a problem. It's just what we can talk about at an open meeting. Sorry, I can let y'all know that we are working on it, and there's two other properties that have gotten overgrown. Um, that are within the neighborhood that we have been working with. So I was going to say, since y'all don't know the processes, basically we drive around, hopefully every week, but like one time it was three weeks, you know, one, it's usually two weeks. So like we drove around today and, you know, we drive the same path every time so we kind of recognize which houses and, you know, we make a list and if it's cleared up from our last, last week, it goes off the list, if it's new, it gets added to the list. And, it always gets sent to them and then we also list things 
like if we see a new fence, you know, we'll make a note. Don't know if you would, if they had approval or you know whatever. So uh, we just do that as volunteers. Yep. That's good work. Thank you. <laughs> we know, we really appreciate it. Yeah. The, the work that they were doing. Yeah. Okay. Can I get uh, a motion to approve the deed restriction? Uh, sorry, deed restriction. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we at? Need restriction. Uh, Troy. Can I get a second? Yeah. All in favor? All opposed? Okay. Maintenance report. Uh, maintenance report is pretty light. Just a few things on the pool. We uh, fixed the light in the bathroom. Uh, pool cover on here so the week. Uh, had to. Uh, Check out the pool pump one day when I fill in the water. Uh, pretty much everything's been related to the pool house or the pool. Except for the boat ramp. We did the boat ramp. Okay. We went down, cleaned it up. There were beer bottles oh, okay. all over the place. And in that hole, they've been throwing them beer bottles and breaking them, which the hole was on the line is half theirs and half ours. Oh, and no, it's all ours. It's all hours. Yep. I've already well, I'll tell you if I can steal four or five buckets of sand. And Harris I County is going to come out to fix it. I don't, I don't know when, but I'm, I'm... Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if a kid steps off in there, I know. he's going to be ripped from his knee all the way to his feet. And I think they don't mind volunteering to give me four or five buckets, at least enough cool. to cover up the bottles. I'm cool with that. And then the county can do the rest. Is the uh, when it on? I'll tell you when. On August 28th is whenever I call the county. Yeah. Is whenever I know. I dug all of that out, and that's all beer bottles and stuff under yeah. the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we uh, went down and measured up for all the top boards, and they was a motorcycle club. I'll let Sarah Sarah tell you about that but we measured all of that up and i'm going to start checking on three loads of rock because it's getting bad with the four wheeler down there yeah all right you can tell them about the poker run well hold on let's finish up maintenance report john are you good that's it i need to get you i have the permits for the pier i keep forgetting to put give them i've to got you. them no i have them where i can't oh i can well she gave them to me to give to john and i have them in the house and i keep forgetting to give them to you but i will get those to you so it's not my fault, camera. No, it's not. No. If I do it, I'll fall in the water. Do you know what one of those picnic tables looks like from the road? But it was getting pretty close to the edge of the water. Yeah, you just got to tap them on the side of the bulkhead. No, I thought it was picnic table. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, at the yeah. boat ramp? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I went over there and pulled a couple, pulled them back. Did you? Because I yeah, saw the day when we was going around. It looked like no, it they moved them around where oh, I yeah, was sitting. But yeah, they, I wanted to move them in the water. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll do that in the yeah. well. Just throw them in that water in the heartbeat. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, can I get a motion to approve maintenance report? I second. Second. Uh, Harris County is going to come out to fix it. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay. Deed Restriction Review Committee. Hey, put stick to the How do you do? Uh, I have been busy this summer, so Steve is offered to contact everybody that emailed in to be on the deed restriction review committee. Um, as soon as you email everybody, give me a date. We'll put it on the Facebook page and on the sign to have our first. All uh, right, we can do that. But before we start that, that Steve, I mean uh, y'all, I'm down here. I need a little bit of input, uh, but it's bold because we're going to be getting into a whole brand new reconstruction of everything we've got and i've got my thoughts on it and i have got i don't think any of y'all here has maybe tried and had seen one of the original books yeah i have i have I called I have. downtown yeah. i have called austin this is the only thing they got with cars oh wait okay uh, the original deep restrictions they're original yes okay i wasn't sure what you were talking about okay. they're online Yes. Steve, kind of, I think kind of, that I have them written copy. I have them in written copy right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. well, I have three them on some board. I have three of them down here. Uh, okay. And I won't, I'm going to give one to Sarah, and if anybody else wants one, they can have it. But these were back in the 60s. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. This is how far it goes back. 59, 64. I'll give you one. 64. 64, was it? All yeah, those okay. are on the website. The I don't. They're, 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 I don't know who put these on there because I ain't found it. These, these, I are, these, 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 are, the these are the original that I've ever written yeah. here. This is original. There's your document number on there. Six yeah. So you get those out of Harris County's website, County Clerk's Office. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm not smart enough to find it, but that is the original copy that's filed in Austin. The southern one we've been using is worthless. That is waste of paper. What I'm telling you is, yeah, it is, back in the mid 70s, I was one of the few that went down to Austin to get it changed for Medicare. We had no money out here at all. This place looked like a jungle. Of course, it wasn't about 40 dollars. It's all 25. But it's come a long, long way since then. But right now, the way I'm seeing it, y'all are off the handicap. The one we have, the one we have, the one we have was recorded in 1962 at the Harris County Clerk's Office. That's what, yeah, that's what we have. Yeah. No, no, right. You got your hands. They should be the same. No, that's the same time. They should be the same. Same thing. Yeah. I think we should be the same. Okay, I've never. Well, yeah, they should be the same. To match up against the face. You can match this. What I'm saying is, if you go by what's on here, this is all section one, two, and three. Yeah, every fire. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need to get. So we know we have all of us out of our security that people are crossing. Yes, I agree. Yep. That is the goal. Yeah. But online is section one, two, three. I need help in section. Well, we're going to listen. We ain't going to work on five and six. Is that there's nothing in there pertains to the civic league. And the deed restrictions? The civic league and the deed restrictions. Yes, Y'all have no means of acquiring money. Don't look through there, it ain't there. Uh, the the civic league never was supposed to <coughs> be intertwined with it. Well, the civic, that, the civic league is the in the bylaw. Right here. <coughs> Lake Shadows Committee, it's right here. You go down here and get. How do you make money? Maintenance fees. Maintenance fees. Yes. To the county clerk's office. The only thing that's not. Where are you getting your money? Are you getting your money now through from uh, the uh, no, county paying, clerk's office? I ain't getting my money from nowhere. I'm paying. No, you mail your money in every year. What I'm telling you is, this group right here does not have the money, nor any way of generating money. To go after these deed restrictions that y'all have right now. We really don't. And you got to have some means. I've already it. done it okay. once, Keith. Hell, yeah, we took. I, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody got to argue about it. You got to have it. I took Bottom two line. dozen to court at one time. Hey, what? I took two dozen to court at one time. That's right. But how much money did you have to run off of? Way, way back. How many years ago? I had well, on the board. 10, 12 years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, 10 or 12 years ago. But you can't. I don't, like, I don't think I understand what's going on. Still there problem. today, the same thing. I don't know. I don't think I understand what's the. I'm saying that on the maintenance, the maintenance fees, funds that you're sure. claiming y'all get this money out of, I'm saying somebody don't know what's going on. Because you get this money, but it's already gone before you got it. Yeah. There is no Wait, set. There, well, what he's you know, saying. What I'm saying is is there is no set direction to where the money goes. Yes, there is. It's the budget. Okay. Well, no, is what is the budget got in it? Does it say this pool, we're going to put 30000 in the pool yes. this year? Yep. Yes. Oh, see, I've got everything done. Yes. Yeah. Lawn yeah. maintenance and everything yes. else except for, all right, I hadn't seen that part of it. The, part, yeah. the last part I've seen, <laughs> it is not in the uh, restrictions, or I didn't find it online. Either. No, yeah, we it's make in the, the budget the, every The budget year. every year is what's built, and that's the guidelines yeah. of what the maintenance fees of course, we have to shortcut it because you're right, we don't have the money. Oh. No, we don't have to shortcut it. We just budget for what we have. Yeah, yeah. let me ask this question. If that's the case, why is it that the case we don't need a way? You got this man here, and you got those folks over there that have issues about a neighbor that can't get his grass cut when Lake Shadows holds the right to file a first line. Yes. Is there any money budgeted for enforcement? No. Well, no, no, no I think that's it. what point we're yeah, 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 yeah. There's no yeah. enforcement, but yeah. 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 We, have, yeah. Yeah. we have we have attorney fees. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, so I, I've never seen very, anything. Very low. I've never seen anything from the whole time I've been down here that has it set. And then you can have your standards cut off of that. But in other words, that's something. On, if y'all are happy like this, that's fine. We're not happy like well, this. Steve. What I'm saying that's is, the reason we asked and y'all need <laughs> y'all need to get this. Those of y'all that know me know that I I don't have a whole lot of BS in my system. It's straight up, and we don't. It's gonna be. Right, or I'm not going to do it. Except, Except when it, it comes is. to fishing. Say what? Except when it comes to fishing. I'm, I'm a fisherman. I'm not a god. I can't make a fight. But uh, <clears throat> the thing about it is, we're going to be talking to this whole community. Everybody. Yes. And I would, please, I would definitely like to have all the help I can get. Yes. In other words, I've got six people that have volunteered. I've already talked to a, a quite I, a few people. And I've given you eight. You give me eight? Okay, you give me eight. Okay, I've already talked to quite a few. I'm uh, mainly been talking to people on multiple lots, this, that, and other. Because there's only about four people in this whole mission got more time right here than I did. And I like this place. And I don't want to see it go downhill. I'll talk yes. to you about that. And I think we all agree that and what we have right now is it's it's outdated. It when needs to be updated. Outdated. It's, it's prehistoric. I'm I yeah. was not trying to date anybody, so that's why I said I'm it's just outdated. telling you that it needs there's to be not updated. a soul in this room, not one person in this room that's a, that's a kid. And I don't think it's, and everybody in here been working over 20 years. Nobody in here can tell me they're making the same damn money right now as they've been making 20 years. Oh, no. Nope. And that's what we're sitting at right here on this side. Yep. And that's the reason I'm going to get involved because I feel that strongly about it. I'm retired. I do too. I, don't, I mean, I, I could go and go back to my farm and my ranch and I wouldn't have to worry about none of this stuff. Like I said. But my daughter and I will live out here. And I got to look at the people in the store every day when I go down there. And somebody got to take the bull by the heart and run it. I know how to do that. And like right. you're saying, if yes, we make a budget. But is the budget what we would really you like to do? You make the budget off of the money you have, not, yes. the, not the money that you've got coming right. in, that you have an, an opportunity to say, okay, we're going to put 10000 aside this year yes. for data Yes. We're going to put 5000 aside this year for uh, upkeep on this. We're going to put 7000 a year for people well, to put the computer. We do that, but it's not what we We don't have enough money to do what we really want to do. You're taking all the wind out of myself, Tori, because I'm going to find out how damn much money you got at the end of the year since y'all got all this money. We don't. Imagine that. Okay. <laughs> I I, no, I, I agree with you 100%. I come down here. You know. I do kind of share the concern because when I was on the board and talked to an HOA attorney that that's what they do, they said y'all better budget at least $20,000 to to do HOA. By Ma the time you get it approved, get it a, attorney changes, all that, so I am concerned all right, we're going, with going to all this trouble and not having the money that it's going to take because it's not going to be free to do this. Okay, that's so and in that case, and that's where the attorney that we have that's on board now that we I've talked to at length, that yes, $20,000, and that is for the attorney to take the deed restrictions and say, what do you want changed? And that's we not make them, the we tell them what we want and they rewrite it. Okay. He said yeah. the best step to do at this point is because we are limited on our budget, and he gets our budgets every meeting, is to take Section 6. That's the most recent section that's been written. He said it's not <coughs> but it's a good template. Take everything 1 through 5, make it look like Section 6 to make 1 through 6 look the same. The only difference between Sections 1 through 6 is the minimum square footage for the new builds. Other than that, every section is the same. Um, so we take section six, we break it up, we see what we need to include and what we need to update, change. We write it out in layman terms. We type it out. We don't like this. This is what we want. We send everything to him. He then lets us know this is not worded right. You can do this. You cannot do that. We're doing it the cheap way, but we're doing all the work instead of having him do the work. So yeah, the more people we have, the easier it's going to be. But most HOAs do not have their neighborhood do it. Yeah, but they I, have I an mean, attorney. The person I talked to knew that we were going to be just crazy. I just, I 
I've dealt with attorneys. It's not going to cost you much, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> your bill has been five times higher than they ever estimate because of this and this and this and this. Yes. Because Ooh. I'm a do-it-myself person. Yep. And I have been burned numerous times by an estimate of what it's going to cost, and it doesn't. I just worry, are we going to, you know, because I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours and hours because I volunteered to find out that, well, we can't do it because we don't have the money to pay or do this, you know. Plus, I still think it's going to be a huge argument amongst even volunteers. No, we think so. It's not going to happen. No, and getting those votes to me is almost going to be impossible. Yeah. Uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. where I'm at. Everybody that you talk to around here, not everybody, but okay. there, there's a big that when it comes to raising dudes, they're like, oh, no, I'm broke. I'm broke. I mean, you can say, yeah, we're, we're, always in there. No, like, we're, oh, we're all broke. Hang on, this guy's got a hand up. I'm not running this show. <laughs> Most of them will just pay just more, <laughs> but not probably what we're going to ask for. Well, it's got to be on a step basis. I mean, you can't make up 30 years in 30 seconds. Right. It, it just don't right. happen. Right. But we can make headway and I've already talked and I've talked to a lot of people that hold multiple lots. That's where the, the hickey is out here, is the lots. Not just the homeowners, it's landowners and Lake Shadows. If you're waiting on me, go for it. If you're not, I will. Yes. Oh, I, yes. I'm going to say something that's maybe a dirty word, but I remember uh, there, when we had a I worked, CIA. In, I worked in chemical all my life. What do you got here? And they ran, you know, <laughs> stuff and for some reason we got rid of them, but it's kind of nice to have somebody completely out of that Well, so here's picture. what here's yeah. what I took over after CIA and we didn't have a penny. So here's what happened with CIA. And I was, off my credit I, I was not in the I was not in this neighborhood whenever CIA was here. Yeah. So what I had to do was I had to go back and sit with the bookkeeper and pull the books before we had computerized books. Yeah. Pull all the documents from CIA yeah. and I contacted yeah. CIA. <laughs> what ended up happening, CIA and any management company charges you per paper clip, per staple, per page, per print. So that literally their contracts are you get a base fee for a monthly fee. And then anything else, that is just to say we have a management company. And then whenever you tell them, okay, we want you to do deed restrictions. Okay, so that means you will pay for us to have somebody drive around. Then you'll pay another fee to have somebody turn in a notice like a, a, a list, then you will pay for us to write it, then you will pay, so that added on. So what they ended up doing, two things that ended up happening is that the CIA was enforcing deed restrictions that were not in our deed restriction code. And a couple of property owners did go to CIA saying, you know, that's not even in our deed restrictions. So CIA was enforcing deed restrictions that were not out. The other thing too is they were charging between three to $6,000 a month. And it was, you never knew how much until you got that invoice. So whenever they finally, the neighborhood took it over, they took it over from CIA with what was left of $6,800 in the bank account for a late shadow. And that was it. And that was in November, October or November is whenever the neighborhood took it over. So unless you're Deer Run, which Deer Run, they charge five hundred dollars for five fifty a lot. They use a management company, it's not CIA. We did I did look into that one. Every penny that they have goes to that management company. Every penny. And that's five hundred dollars a lot over there for your maintenance fees. So for this neighborhood to go to a management company, we would have to charge a lot of money for management fees for maintenance fees. They didn't even collect all of our money when I took the books over. There was checks that people had wrote in that they had just thrown down a bottom of a box. So a, ma a, manage a maintenance company is good for a gated community. Whenever uh, we took it back years. from them, they were, we was actually broke and told them about it. But like Indian Shores, CIA does run Indian Shores, yeah. but the difference is, is Indian Shores does not own any of their amenities. They don't own any amenities in their neighborhood. Their water district owns every amenity in their neighborhood. So they own, the only thing that they pay CIA to do is to run their website, to do their deed restrictions. And that is it. And, and they do their, their books. But whenever you start looking into some of these neighborhoods, the ones that are gated have make management companies. The ones that don't own any amenities, they don't do any upkeep within their neighborhood, they have management companies. We're still one of the few that we own our own amenities. We run our own neighborhood. And it's run by the people that live here. And if we turn it over, we're 
we're going to be back. And we can't use CIA again anymore. They would never take the neighborhood over. So. It, it, and it would it would take a load off of a board yeah. by a by a yeah. lot. It sounds like it wouldn't be worth it. No way no out. Like giving the neighborhood yeah. to a bunch of lawyers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The neighborhood, the CIA was involved. They took all the money, no matter what it was, how much they collected, they wound up charging. They found a way to charge that much money. Yeah. 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 They do. Okay, so for the deed restriction review, review committee, as soon as Steve gets an email out, I'll get it posted when the first meeting is. Okay. And it's open to the neighborhood. Okay. But we do need to get that started. And that's a rewrite of the deed restriction across all sections to yes, make them uniform. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 Uh, social committee. Keep them all in the general hall. I know. Right. Oh, yeah. Just, just. Uh, so, so, so the social <laughs> committee. Uh, let me get the email from Miss Betty. Okay. They are meeting tomorrow to discuss Halloween. Uh, they want to. They want to talk about doing kind of like a trunk or treat here at the park um, for people that one either don't want kids running up to their yard or uh, don't want to sit inside their house or whatever. We're going to open up the park. They're going to try to organize a trunk or treat for Halloween. The good thing about Halloween is, is that there is no school the next day. Well, if we do that, you know, start wanting to get trailers and load them up from that's here. Not, that's not ours. No, we're not doing that. The only thing that they're organizing right. that they're talking about doing is a trunk or treat. That, that is where people come, come and get a piece they decorate people. their backs of their that's vehicles, it. and they sit there. <coughs> you get a lot of the parents that dress up, and as kids come through, they just it's just like what you see right here, and they just hit every single car. And they hand Betty out. over parties now. Betty is helping. Uh, right now we've got Betty, uh, Amanda Leje, Kelly Cuban, and Jessica Fitzpatrick that are on that committee. Um, well, no, a, lot these, a lot of these people sure like to sit out in their driveway and give candy to the kids. Oh yeah, and that's... Uh, you can have a hard time stopping that. Oh no, oh, no, 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 the re yeah. no, what we're doing is yeah. for the oh, people that are like on Foley Road, that don't get trick-or-treaters. We don't want them either. Well, <laughs> you don't want them. But the, <laughs> but the people, but well, some now, of the people uh, on uh, Foley Road. How are you giving that candy if you don't want trick-or-treaters? I'm sitting here at the kids' house. <laughs> if they, if they want to do trick-or-treating, but they don't get any, then they can come here. Yeah. Bathrooms will be open, this will be lit up. This is just an option for people that want to have trick-or-treaters, but don't get them at their homes. Do we get trick-or-treaters on the road? Yeah. We don't need to buy all those neighborhoods. They're coming in. Which is, fine. Which is no. fine. No, I, I, I don't, I mean, if... I ain't feeding no kids over in the shore. That's... Newport. <laughs> that's fine. But yeah. this gives the people in our neighborhood the option if they do want to have trick-or-treaters, but they don't get them, or they don't want to walk through the yard, they can sit up the uh, poker run that was done, that was not the Lake Shadow Civic League, but uh, some, people, some people in the neighborhood had a poker run. Oh, okay. Um, we did not organize that. The, league, the Civic League wasn't over any of that. Um, but a couple of people just did a poker run through the neighborhood. It turned out actually really neat. They did a caravan style. They did a bunch of different houses. and um, They are donating materials to the neighborhood. So they're going to help donate the materials to uh, clean up the boat ramp, the bulkhead top, all the boards up there that have been torn off from boats. They're going to, um, they decided to donate, go buy some materials and donate materials to help repair all that. Um, we just can't do it right this moment because it's so flipping hot. So, hot, right? yeah. so um, as soon as it cools off, uh, we'll get with that group that did that. But I believe that they're also talking about doing a chili run this February. Yeah, they, you know, they also need to, like, uh, give a meet before they just start and yeah, fixing stuff. So. No, 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 they're not. They're donating material. They're not okay. fixing anything. They're not. They're donating material. They're not donating like yeah, what they, uh, You know, I went to the thing and donated and all that, but I didn't, I didn't want to bring it up then. Somebody outed me. But I didn't even want to know I was on stand board. But, uh, yeah, no, they're, anyway, uh, we're not getting yeah, any money. Gonna, a week or two before we do it, they're going to put it on Facebook because... That's a lot of work and a lot of lift, and, and yeah. I ain't much into that. I got it rolled up how much material and screws and nails that yeah. we need. We just need to get some volunteers, but 
we gonna wait till it ain't 101. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's cool under that boat around about 90. 9,000 teeth at one time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bring tractor home and nail it. Probably. If one of y'all got volume, I'll probably need that that day. We can handle that. Okay. Um, so that's all that I've got on social committee. I know Betty and them are going to start working on Christmas stuff right after uh, Halloween. They've got some really good ideas for Christmas that they want to do. Um, we want to do a Polar Express movie night here um do a big screen with the plate polar express um do the hot chocolate bar do the popcorn bar um but have a really big uh, er, like what miss betty used to do for christmas have a big christmas party for the kids at the, uh, at the park so she's going to give me more information on that okay new business update bank accounts um we need to update the signature cards on the bank accounts we need to add the bookkeeper to the signature cards um for the accounts um, so, can I get somebody to make a motion to allow Darla to go onto the bank accounts? What about uh, I make it other motion. people that's dropped off? People replaced. Yeah, no. And that we had to have we have to bring the minutes of the meeting to the yeah. bank that shows that like Anita was on there. We have to bring the minutes showing that we accept her resignation in order for us to pull her off. Right. So, Anita um, was the only one on there that will be coming off. Connie was on there, she'll be coming off. Um, so that only leaves me and Nora on those accounts. So we need to make sure that the bookkeeper's on there. Um, also, the secretary. So, okay, so did you do a motion to add the bookkeeper to the bank account? Yes. Can I do that? Okay. Can I get a second to add the bookkeeper to the bank account? Second. All in favor? Uh, All opposed? Okay, uh, secretary of bank account. As soon as we get a secretary, they need to be added to the bank account. There needs to be more than two board members on that bank account. That can't be because Noah Bay is on that. Correct. We all to go to Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad for the bank. You don't sign checks anyway. That makes more money. Yeah, that's, uh, what I, that's what I worry about, Mike and Troy. Going okay, let's, uh, projects. If I'm going to jail, I'm going to need a little boat bit more. Boat ramp more. and pavilion. Oh, so we've yeah. already talked about the boat <laughs> ramp. The boards that are going to be replaced with the boat ramp. Uh, Troy's going to start looking at getting the rock. We had already budgeted that in into the budget in January. So we've replaced some of the rock at the boat ramp. So we're going to start getting that, getting some quotes in for that, getting that done. Now that's cooling off. The pavilion, uh, a homeowner um, donated the paint to repaint the inside of the pavilion. Um, so I'll get a day posted on Facebook if anybody wants to come over and help me pull staples, clean the walls, and start painting. But I'd like to get this painted. Um, I'm going to work on the rentals for the pavilion. That if you, you if you rent the pavilion, part of the deposit you don't get back is if you leave stuff up around the pavilion. But that's it's in there. It just hasn't been enforced. So in order to enforce it, the rental application is going to be rewritten. So that it shows that, okay, this is what it is, this is what has to be done, and it'll be enforced. But it's kind of hard to enforce it whenever it looks like this. So we'll get everything repainted and uh, looking nice and then start enforcing that. Is the rental of the Virginia only uh, open to property owners? Or can't? Oh, okay. Only property owners, just handle it. Um, okay, the pool. Pool's closed. <coughs> um, we had a pretty decent pool season this year, um, we were down on how much money we brought in. Um, we did not sell as many uh, pool tags this year. That happens. We didn't raise fees or anything. We didn't change anything this year. Um, families change, kids get older, people have new babies and just don't have time to come to the pool. That doesn't say the pool wasn't used, because it was. Um, So we're under budget on our chemicals, we're under budget on our maintenance, we are under budget on our manager, and we're under, we ended up going, how did we go over budget? I just saw that. Pool monitors and lifeguards. I'm gonna check with Darla on that because I didn't think we went over budget on that, but I'm gonna check with her. Um, we went under budget on everything except for the monitors and the lifeguards, so I'll double check with that, how we ended up going over. Um, you still pay that more than what you took in, I mean. Oh yeah, and we do that every year. Oh yeah. There, that's, By how much? 
Let's see. Because you don't know because the life guards and monitors. So for the income, pool and park income is all together. So it shows 4600 Whenever I met with Darla on Friday, we need to go back over that uh, because that includes full rentals, park rentals, and tags and gas fees. And I want it. We, I want to break it down per each, yeah. so that I can get a better idea of where we're at. Um, but yeah, we never make anything off of this. Um, the pool's covered. The new laws for the pool is that we cannot let the pool go. Usually at least for all of us, for as far as I know, when the pool season's over, pool gets shut down, pumps get turned off, cover gets put on, and it doesn't get managed until April of the following year. That's how we used to do it. We cannot do that anymore. Um, the health department can do some private inspections and require you to give them a water sample. Uh, the water sample can, the, your chlorine and your pH and all your chemicals do not have to be balanced. You just cannot have any allergy growth. And you don't have to have chemical pH and chlorine and all your stuff balanced in order to keep algae from growing. You don't have to do that. Um, so the pool's covered. I was there today, uh, vacuums in and it's running. Um, I'm still checking chemicals. Lindsay was our manager this year and she had offered to come and manage the pool off season. She's offered to do come twice a week until uh, we need her for $50 a month. No pool company will manage. That's cheap. No pool company will manage a pool. Indian Shores. I've been in touch with them about their pool because I'm helping them get all their stuff. Fifty dollars a month. Yep. Hundred dollars. Uh, no, no, no. Fifty dollars a month. Oh, well, I thought it was 150 every time. No, she said fifty dollars a month. What is she going to do when she gets here? She will be here twice a week. She'll come in one day. She'll test the uh, the water. She'll see if we need to add any uh, chlorine. If we need to add any PA. Uh, acid, any phosphorus, anything like that, she'll put the vacuum in, she'll run the vacuum, she'll come back, turn the vacuum back on, she'll come in the next day, back wash the pumps, pull the vacuum out, and shut the pumps down, because we don't want to run the pumps 24 hours either. She puts, she's going to have to put a bunch of chemicals in there, we might as well uncover that pool, because I don't think that top will stand. Okay, so here's the difference well, with keeping a cover on versus keeping the cover off. I know what it is. Okay. So somebody needs to be over there three times a day skimming that pool. If the cover's not on it, the pool needs to be skimmed three times a day. At least. Get off and, and, that's every, and that's every day. With keeping the nope. cover on, she comes twice a week to make sure that the vacuum's constantly running, turns the pumps on, lets the pumps run for 24 hours, turns them on. If it stays uncovered, pumps have to be on all the time. So we're yeah. looking at running the pool for $1,200 every two months or $50 to $100 a month having those you come and do it. The whole problem to me is that it keeps getting more expensive and more expensive just to have it. Okay. I mean, there's no, every year you think you paid all you're going to pay and now next year it's more. Okay, so in 2017, we spent $1,680 to chemicals. In 2018, we spent $1,635 in chemicals. This year, we spent $1,200. So we've been under on that. Uh, in 2017, we spent $5,376 in maintenance and repair. In 2018, we spent $3,200 in maintenance and repair. This year, we spent $765. So we're way under on that. Well, that's all fine. Okay, I understand them certain categories, but this is you, every this is every category. When you put all the categories together and then what it costs, you're not going to be under any of Well, no, the pool does not make money. That it's never going to. <coughs> I see it as trying to manage and lower the amount of expenses to that pool. Okay, so that's the that's the pool. So either. I can keep doing it ish. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to get done every week. Um, or we can pay Lindsay $50 a month. I think she's a terrible negotiator, my Yeah. 
I'm not going to do that for y'all. It would be crazy the, not to do the $50 price. Yeah. The cover <laughs> is on there and it's going to do its job. Yep. Of course, it's all rotten already. No, it's not. Yeah. That sucker's hanging on. Hey, that sucker's hanging on. It's, it, I, I'm, wait till this fall. I, well, hey, as long as it does what it needs to do over the summer, <laughs> that I'm happy with it. It yeah. just needs, needs to stay intact. Seems already written. I mean, it's it's. Like, I know. It's gonna have to have a new one, no matter how you look at it. I, know. I mean, we all know the pools of money pit. At some point in the future, it's gonna have to either go away or get a major upgrade. Or get a major upgrade, and that's never gonna happen until new deed restrictions and the maintenance fees go up. We just and for a couple, and for a couple of years, they've been up. Yeah. A at lot least. cheaper and a lot less. Oh, yeah. 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 How would just as much major upgrade make it cheaper to operate? We just had so we've had major upgrades. Well, yeah, we're you've got something the there that might have helped a lot. Have a saltwater pool that costs virtually nothing. Yeah, because right. The only downfall is that the type of pool we have, because it's a straight plaster, we have to re at the pool for a saltwater pool. That's I looked into. It. Yeah. <laughs> I've looked at any. I've looked at everything, and a saltwater pool would be a whole lot easier to maintain. But it's to, it's to turn this one into a saltwater pool. Because all of our all of our equipment is is for a straightforward pouring pool. So the pumps are the pumps would have to be changed out. Okay. So hold you to maybe at some point if we do decide to upgrade instead of get rid of that would be probably for now we're going with what we have. Yeah. So Okay, thank you. So uh can I get a motion to approve to let Lindsay uh Manage the pool on the off season for fifty dollars a I'm month. Okay. What? I motion. Okay. Awesome. I don't know why I'm not anymore. John, Nora, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. Troy? Oh, I am opposed. Aye. Well. <laughs> okay. So that's all we have for this one. Um, public comment. All right. Hi, I'm Keith Downs. I'm with your water board. I thought I'd come up and let anybody who wanted to know what the Crosby Independent School District has planned. Yes. Uh, if y'all can come over and take a look, this will make it a lot easier. They're planning on putting a 50 acre complex on the southwest corner of Dallas and Foley. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our side of hold Dallas. On. Okay. okay. This is going to have an elementary school, it's going to have a middle school, it's going to have a bus farm. Oh, I didn't know now, that. they are in our water district. There's 370 acres there. The people that own the 370 so acres are going to sell 50 acres no. to the school district yeah. for a really good deal. And that's the corner where it says we, Where we used to have a Lake Shadows. No. 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 no, it's down towards Dallas where the, the, where the uh, okay. storage building, the storage place is. Okay. Before you get to Dallas on the right hand side. Okay. Did, yeah, yeah, we used to have a Lake Shadow side. Yeah, but that was on the other side. That was on the left side. Yeah. They're going to sell the 50 yeah. acres so to the school district the for a really, really so good deal. Okay. The 370 yeah. acres are in our water district. We have to supply yeah, them if we have the capability. We do not have the capability. The school board members came down and what they want to do is they want to buy that piece of property for a really, really, really good deal. Oh, but they don't want to pay for the upgrade in our sewer and, and, and water system. They're wanting us as best we can. Let's say that we can move ours around. We can do a $225,000 project in, this year instead of two years from now. That will help them come in at a lower budget. I'm not finding anybody except this gentleman so far that is pro that's good. They're in our water district. If, if they come up with the money, which is six hundred thousand to a million, to upgrade our water system, the school that's going in. But if they drill their own well and set their own septic tank, that school is going in. They can go to Newport and get water. If we say yes, you can. We are not going to say yes, you can. We, I think, most of us have decided. No, yeah. New, Newport is not going in. Anyway. Deal with all that anyway. Yeah, it's it's not coming in. They're not going to run a pipe and a sewer over the sewer. We're not going to let them go outside of the district. That's the only two options we have. Y'all might want to come down to the meeting and let the board know. Do y'all want us to do everything possible within our power to make that happen, or do y'all just want us to sit back and say, "School, do whatever you want to do." Okay, wait. To make what happen? To make, make that complex happen. happen. 
but to use Lake Shadow water? Oh, they're in our water district, yes. But they have no the WCID number 70, not Lake yeah, Shadow, yeah. but yeah, WCID number 70. But they, but they have the option of using Newport water. If we give our blessing, it's a lot shorter to oh, run from there. I'm, I'm backwards. Okay, the, now the I'm directors forward. have to say yes. You can go out of our water district to get yes. the water and sewer. We okay. decided, well, I, my myself, and I think the others decided no. no. We're not going to give them permission to go to Newport. Okay. Uh, so that good. puts them there. That puts all the congestion there. That puts Newport bringing in the water and sewer. Of course, we'll bill them for it, and then we'll pay Newport. We'll make a little bit of money, but not much. Yeah. Uh, that opens. <laughs> Like I said, 50 acres. Now, there are indications that, that they're going to improve the roadways. Foley Road's going to be a four-lane road going all the way out to 2100. Dallas is going to be a four-lane road going down this way. But they are not. Uh, but I don't know when. And they are not going past well, they, the, uh, they, they can't even keep from, totally past. Yeah. From what, so, I, was, from what yeah. I was told, mm -hmm. is they are not coming up Foley Road past the complex to improve roads. Right. So so into, did, into Lake did, Shadows, they will not. They no, they're, they're, they're coming up from Dallas. Yeah. 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 Now you're talking about school zones, school buses, people dropping their kids off. Now we can't tell them they can't come in here because of congestion, because of traffic. But your water board, if y'all so desire, and y'all make it known to us, we can sit on our hands and say, hey, cross the independent school district. We have accepted the burden of the bond that was passed. We're all paying those taxes. Yeah. The school board's kind of wanting Lake Shadows, or people in WCID number 70, to up their game and pay more than everybody else. Yeah. We don't see it. No. Yeah. We, we don't see it. We're going to sit back based on, but if y'all come down here and say, yeah, no, we want it to happen, then we'll do what we can. No. But it looks like we're going to sit on our hands and tell the school district, no, you will pay every nickel of every improvement that y'all need to put in for that thing to get here. Yep. Okay. I agree. But it be. That's, that's the impression I'm getting, except for a couple of people. No, no, they, but, they but pay I mean, everything. Yeah, for, for that way, no. my small community <laughs> here, WCID number 70, we're not reaching in our pocket. For some I, I, I don't pocket the budget. Are they back? We're paying that. Because we're in the school. Now, would some of this go where Would some of this come out of that million dollars y'all got in reserve? That, no, that's some of the money we're using to build improvements. Now, that's another whole different game. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen we're an old really. district. Our stuff is old. We're fixing that to start improving. And it, it's not cheap. It, that's it, not it reserved. That's how much money But that's a whole different. That's y'all's yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah that's yes. our meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in the community can know what we decided, right. what we think is best. Yeah. It's, it's, been, it's, yeah, it's been explained. We can pay as we go and draw it out of the money we make. No, that one did And get it fixed. But then it's the people that are here right now that are paying for everything. And the people that move here in 10 years. They don't pay for it, so yeah. they're wanting to stretch it out a little further. If it's a, a has a lifetime of 25 years, they're wanting to stretch paint for 25 years. That's, but that's a whole different deal. Yeah. This is if y'all want us to do do the limbo, bend ourselves into a pretzel, trying to get that thing here. Y'all need to let us know. If y'all want us to sit on our hands and say, hey, school district, y'all do whatever y'all need to do. If y'all can do it, come on. If you can't do it, bye-bye. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's why y'all... Because that, that cheap piece of land may not be so cheap when they have to come up with 600000 to a million to improve our water and sewer to put that school in there. But in, in order for WCID to support it. Yes. What they're going to have to... That's what... Yeah. They're gonna I just want to make sure that... Yes. Every, yeah. make, them pay. make them pay. Okay, yeah. because... If they don't pay to improve our district, mm -hmm. that we can support that campus. Yes. We the just Lake Shadows and Deer Run is going to have to pay for it. Yes. Okay. So or that's, some upgrade. Yeah. They're going to pay some. They have. To. But they're yeah. But they're we, not going to pay money for, for everything yeah. they need. So that's going to increase Lake Shadows and Deer Run. That's going to be money spent on y'all's budget. Yes. Versus you, what you're saying is y'all are going to sit on your hands and say y'all can do whatever you want, but you're paying for all upgrades yes. in order for us to that, support That's the impression campus. I'm getting from everybody I'm talking okay. to, except just, a few people. No, 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 I'm saying let them pay oh, everything. Well, yeah, and I just want to, because Ed's now, still videoing, I want to make sure that That property paper. is very, very attractive because they own 370 acres. Mm -hmm. That school gets built there. That's going to make the other 270 acres 
uh, if my math is correct, I don't know. Yeah, this is all very, free. very popular. So this is the yeah. right. yeah. So that's why you get money away. If you own so property, you get the right away for a road. For they put the road in, and suddenly the property on either side of the road is very valuable. Yeah. We, uh, you we, gave away a little, we you get a lot. And, 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 and that's, 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 that property is owned by the Medico family. Yep. They, they help develop this whole area out here. I, I know the Medicos. That's only one of my WCID people compared to all the other people. Y'all right. Right? elected me to watch out for y'all. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Base, before, before you go too far, yes, all that property the Medicos own? Yes, sir. Okay, when the school buys what they're going to buy, they have no road access to Foley Road. Who? Medicos. Their property does not have access to yes, Foley Road. Well, no, it doesn't. Yeah, here we no, go. Don't make no. that property look near as tractable. No. Yeah. They, they were not. Yeah, no, 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 Y'all have an opinion. Y'all want the water board to know your And they're talking about the this before. Come down to the meeting. Step up and say, hey, yeah. that's let the school and, uh, pay for whatever they have to pay for. Yeah. We're well, tired and, of paying. Well, but now, if we can pay no more, we're going to turn this down. But then you have this small community to step up and do it. Yeah, we're not seeing I don't think they'll ever do that. I don't think so either. No. That's too good. That's too good. Yeah. First thing you have to go on the board. So, also, we can't tell them not to come into this community where both of them can get to them. That's Dallas. This is our community. Yeah, this is the 370 acres here. And, and it doesn't really matter who owns it. I'm not finding a whole lot of support in the community for your water board to do the, the limbo trying to get this thing here. If yeah. the school wants to put it there, let them put it there. Yeah, but they need to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. kitty corner from the, like, so there's the, uh, Can I get your there's story? Dallas, yeah, yeah, there's Dallas, there's the storage company there. Yeah, storage company. Okay, so that's across kind of kitty corner. Yeah, that's, 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 that's on that's our side of Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. yeah. Now, if it was on the other side and they blocked oh. the road, we could always take Dallas and get out. Yeah. If, if something happens between here and well, Monroe, that's it. Let us run off in the ditch when he's trying to and deliver something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go okay. on. Drink coffee. Okay. It's going to be a while. Yeah. There is no other way. No. So your next meeting will be in October. First Wednesday of October. Yeah, he's not making much sense okay. because you just got cooked. Mike and Nora know. And it's, and it's, and it's the, the sign is working. Yes. And it is programmed for the water meetings. Yes. So, we, so, we, so hey, it would be appreciative if y'all have a pick or y'all want to sell it and make some money. Give us some guidance on what they're going to do. The people I talk to, they say, oh, that's the division I don't want it there. If you can stop it, stop it. We can't stop it. Uh, They're in our water. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have to yeah. provide yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But they have to provide it. They're selling yeah. yeah. methods there. They've been trying to sell that for three years now. Mm -hmm. That's why they yeah. have three yeah. different yeah. owners. Yeah. Right. Did Mikey leave? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. We yeah. Need, and, uh, let, me, let me adjourn this meeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? Can I get a second to adjourn the meeting? All in favor to adjourn? All in favor to adjourn? Uh, uh, opposed? Okay, being adjourned. Okay, now.